choir of singers singers in the not in the band in the church only so that's called a choir of singers a band of musicians now only people singing in a church are called a choir of singers whereas when musicians other musicians get together it's a group of musician playing an instrument like drums and guitar and the piano or the keyboard <coughs> that's a band of musicians it's a band now there is a difference there is also a lot of we learnt in homonyms there are other words with the same spelling and same pronunciation for example band which we use on the wrist a wrist band same spelling same pronunciation but this band of musicians is a band where you one person plays a guitar one person plays a keyboard one person plays the drums there is a singer or there are more singers and they all form a group that group is called a band of musicians now the next one is a flock of tourists a flock of tourists we can say many tourists but if we want to categorize them under one name then we can call them a flock of tourists for example during new year's time there is a flock of tourists that crowd the city that crowds the city now a flock of tourists a group of tourists so instead of saying a group of tourists there is a special term a formal term that we use to address a particular kind of a particular kind of people a group of people under some category we identify this now these are students these are experts these are robbers these are soldiers these are dancers this is fish these are singers these are musicians these are tourists so tourists what uh, what are tourists people who visit other places okay these are called tourists people who go or who travel to go to, to who travel to different places to see different places they are called as tourists and the their group is called as flock of tourists okay a board of directors a board of directors is a very common statement all right a group of officials of a company a group of senior officials of a company get together and they get there may be many people in the company who are with this designation the designation of a director it is called the board of directors we don't call them a group of directors we call them the board of directors so the board is the name given to the group of directors just like band is the name given to the group of musicians what is an army of ants ants a group of ants now people who are just learning basic english if we call them a group of ants it is not a wrong thing but it is since it is categorized and since we would like to enhance the english language we call it an army of ants an army of ants as in when we say army here we don't mean this army okay we call it army because it is a group particularly for the ants the name army is given a herd of cattle a herd of cattle what is a herd a group of cattle there are some uh, sh shepherds 
uh, or people who guard, uh, who tend the cattle, who take care of the cattle, they go out with a group of cattle and that cattle is called a herd of cattle, a flock of birds. Now we can say a group of birds but it is grammatically or it is incorrect way of addressing the birds as a group of birds. That is why we call them a flock of birds. Flock, what is flock? They move, okay? They move, that is why we call them and usually you see birds moving together. That moving together is called flock, they flock, alright? Uh, they flock together, they, they move together, they fly together. So that is why they are called a flock of birds. A hive of bees, a beehive, okay? A litter bees, bees that make honey, okay? The, the nest kind of thing they build with honey is called a hive. So a hive of bees. A litter of cubs, a litter of puppies, a litter of kittens. What is a litter? A litter is the newborn babies of probably lions or probably the newborn babies of a cat or the newborn babies of a dog which are called puppies, kittens, cubs. So we address them as we categorize them under the category litter, a litter of cubs, a litter of puppies, a litter of kittens. What are kittens? The small cats are called as kittens. The small dogs are called as puppies. The small, the little ones of a lion are called as cubs. So a litter of cubs, kittens, a litter of kittens and a litter of puppies. This one is a very common one which we usually use. A pair of shoes, a pair of socks, a pair of gloves, gloves, bike gloves or cooking gloves. Alright, so we use two of them. So instead of saying uh, shoes or gloves or socks, we just say I want to buy a pair of shoes which is more uh, systematic form of or systematic way of addressing two shoes because we don't buy just one shoe or three shoes, we buy a pair, that's why we call it a pair of shoes. Now a pair of scissors, what is a scissors? Okay, not so good with drawing but something that we use to cut, alright. We can address it as scissors, there's nothing wrong if you say give me the scissors but a very systematic way of terming the scissors is a pair of scissors. I want to cut something, I want to cut a cloth okay? or I want to cut a paper. Do you have a pair of scissors? All right? We are going to make sentences with each one of these but for the time being we will just go through one by one and see the meaning of it. <coughs> so a pair of scissors, a pack of dogs, what is a pack of dogs? A group of dogs, again it is a group but there is no uh, harm in calling it a group of dogs but usually we don't say there was a group of dogs on the roadside. We say there was a pack of dogs on the roadside. So a very formal term for a group of dogs together is a pack of dogs. A stack of wood. A stack could be used for 
something which is a stack of books also you could say. Now something that you mount one by one, one, two, three, four, is, is a, a stack of books or a stack of wood. What is wood? The wooden material which is cut probably mostly it is stacked for either construction purpose, furniture making or for fuel. In the villages people collect wood and they put it one on top of the other that is called a stack of wood or if you just tend to carry a, a, a lot of books together so you don't say a lot of books the ideal term to say it would be a stack of books I had to carry a stack of books to the library to return them <coughs> Now there is galaxy of stars, a group, <coughs> a group of stars can be termed as a, a galaxy of stars. It could be stars, sometimes we address the actors which are really uh, famous actors. We call them stars, the Hollywood actors, the Bollywood actors. So uh, a galaxy of stars but a galaxy is usually we address not the stars who are popular people, or popular movie stars or popular performers. We use a galaxy of stars for the stars which are in the sky. So the heavenly bodies, the stars in the sky. They, the, the group of those stars are called a galaxy of stars but metaphorically sometimes for a group of famous people also sometimes we tend to say uh, if many stars were present, if many famous people were present to perform then we can metaphorically we can say galaxy of stars but usually the actual uh, term is used for the heavenly bodies which is the stars in the sky. A fleet of cars. You don't say a group of cars. That is absolutely, you will come across not many, not, I don't think anybody uses the term a group of cars. Not that I have heard of. But the formal term for a group of cars or many cars together is a, a fleet of cars. A fleet of cars. Okay. A fleet of, this is an animal, a ship. I'm not talking about sheep. S H S H. That's a sheep. Okay. That's a flock of sheep. But this is ship, which is a, a mode of transportation, a water transportation. That is ship, okay, a boat. So that is also called a fleet of ship or fleet of ships. Many ships together, if they are anchored. For example, a group of or many ships are anchored by the seaside. They're, a fleet of ships is anchored by the seaside. All right. This is very important for Indian usage. Many times we use it and every Indian household we use this utensil, utensil, okay? But most, a common Indian who is not well versed with English pronounces it as bowl. It is not a bowl, it is a bowl, bowl, b-o-w-l, a bowl of rice. So when you uh, order in the restaurant, 
you just say a bowl of rice please get me a bowl of rice and usually rice is served in a bowl so you address it as a bowl of rice when you want to quantify rice you just say a bowl of rice right you don't say many rice or much rice you just say a bowl of rice okay get me a big bowl of rice get me a small bowl of rice so it's not bowl it is bowl and to quantify rice cooked rice we say a bowl of rice a bouquet b o u q u e t now the spelling is strange and the pronunciation also is strange bouquet where the t is silent so a group of flowers or many flowers together we don't say a group but the flowers together we call them a bouquet of flowers a bouquet bouquet now the t is absolutely silent we don't say a bouquet a bouquet bouquet of flowers a pack of cards playing cards of cards or any other cards we call it we can call it a stack which is usually a stack uh, literally speaking it is a stack of cards many cards together but we call it a pack of cards shuffle the pack of cards a chest of drawers what are drawers for a dresser a table with many drawers 1 2 3 where you can keep some stuff keep some things we don't say we call it a chest of drawers all right where there are many drawers we don't say many drawers or group of drawers we call it a chest of drawers one drawer two to two draw and three drawers four drawers in a cupboard for example a uh, there are drawers different drawers it's called a chest of drawers all right so a string of pearls what is a string of pearls something that you wear around your neck a chain is just one single strand but pearls is one pearl Two pearls, three, four, five, six, many pearls together. A chain is like this, one, one band. All right. But here, the strings, the pearl is many different pearls are put together in one string, in one string. So. supposing this is a string one single string one one pearl comes here 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 9 so it becomes a string of pearls we can call it a pearl chain but that's not the ideal term to describe it as the pearl chain but you can call it a string of pearls she was wearing a beautiful string of pearls so instead of calling it a chain of pearls because it is not a chain it is a string many pearls are put together in one string it's called a string of pearls bunch of keys a bunch now all it, we cannot call it many keys put together we cannot uh, formally we cannot call it a group of keys or many keys we call it a call it a bunch of keys all right so there are different terms that are used to form a group of these things of different things under a different category or under different names for example students soldiers dancers people cards draws so now we are going to make sentences each in order for you to 
apply them in your day-to-day -day English all right so number one we have already made a, a crowd of people people many people together there were many people there is no harm in saying if there were many people that had gathered uh, a gathering of people usually we call it a crowd of people there was a crowd of people that had gathered for the event all right so now one by one if we make sentences you could just make a note of this collective nouns and if you start rehearsing them if you start using them to make sentences and I'm sure you are using some of uh, for example you have drawers or a dresser in your house you could start calling it the chest of drawers and as you keep uh, as you make a start you will start getting used to using this terms like bouquet of flowers I want to buy my friend a bouquet of flowers instead of saying I want to buy my friend some flowers I want to buy my friend a bouquet of flowers uh, the chest of drawers I kept the books in the chest of drawers instead of just saying I kept it in the drawer you could start using the actual term the formal term for it uh, what else a fleet of cars they have a good fleet of cars for example you want to rent a car or you want to talk about any uh, car rentals or uh, the taxi service they have a good fleet of cars so you're not just saying they have many good cars or they have the fleet of cars okay you're addressing it as fleet of cars what else can you use in your daily a group of dancers a group a gang of robbers a choir of singers a band of musicians the board of directors okay you could a pack of dogs a string of pearls very very important mostly Indian ladies use string uh, uh, use pearls all right so a string of pearls instead of saying a chain of pearls you could start terming it a string of pearls and you will start using these terms into your day-to-day -day English so that it becomes a part of your vocabulary all of these terms will not come just with one time learning when you make a note of all of these collective nouns and you start rehearsing it reading it every time you have time or you need to take out time take time out to read all of these go through run through all of this even if it's for 10 minutes every day as you start getting used to it your brain will start collecting the information or remembering the information and automatically as you keep practicing as you keep reading it the terms will start coming out of your mouth like a bowl of rice okay uh, one is you will start using start getting used to using formal terms in English and gradually it will become a part of your speech and all it needs is practice it will not come with one time reading or one time learning if you just learn today and if you just keep your book aside and not touch it for a month or two it will all go out of your mind so it is the, the best way to learn is once you have learnt it just uh, keep reading it or keep going through take just five minutes or ten minutes to go through it and it will start registering into your mind now let's make sentences with each one of them a panel of experts we have already made a sentence but we will still make it the, I finished the second round of interview at the third round there will be a panel of experts who will ask us questions all right number two I want to I want 50 books I want 50 story books to gift to a class of students all right 
a gang of robbers entered into a villa last night. An army of soldiers marched during the parade. A group of dancers came to perform at the event. A group of dancers came to perform at the event. A shoal of fish was a wonderful sight to see when I was sitting by the lakeside. A crowd of people a crowd of people gathered around the film star who came to visit my village. A catch of fish. Now a catch of fish can be used as if you go to a place where there is fishing activity. You go to a restaurant. What is the fresh catch of the day? Fresh catch when they, they say it is the fish that is caught that day especially if you are a tourist at a beach site all right and or if you are visiting a restaurant by the beach side so usually they have fresh catch of the day and they display that okay if anybody is a non-veg lover fish lover then you could ask what is the fresh catch of the day which means today's fish all right next a team of players gathered together before the match a choir of singers I entered the church and a choir of singers started their first song a band of musicians after the event the band of musicians was sitting at the table where I was sitting. Okay. A flock of tourists. Every year around New Year there is a flock of tourists that visit our city. A board of directors made a decision that the employees should be given a bonus every year all right so the board of directors the directors made a decision an army of ants as I stepped outside my house there was an army of ants a herd of cattle the old man was taking care of a herd of cattle a group of cattle I wanted to click nature so my first picture was a flock of birds flock a birds uh, a group of birds together uh, a hive of bees outside the apartment I noticed there was a hive of bees at the zoo I was so happy to see a litter of cubs when I went to the zoo there were the lions babies which are called cubs and I was happy to see a litter of cubs I wanted I was doing craft so I went to buy a pair of scissors I'm not saying I went to buy scissors I'm saying I went to buy a pair of scissors on my birthday I want to buy a pair of new shoes I'm not saying shoes only I'm saying a pair of shoes okay so I'm using a very formal language into my communication a pack of cards we are going for a picnic so I'm looking for a pack of cards to play cards <coughs> the biker was passing and a pack of dogs started to bark okay by the roadside a chest of drawers I kept my diary in a in the chest of drawers or in the uh, I kept my belongings in the chest of drawers I went to the jewelry shop and I picked up a string of pearls 
I'm not saying I picked up or I bought a chain of pearls. I'm saying I went to the jewelry store and I bought or I picked up, bought or picked up. I, I bought a string of pearls. The driver handed me the bunch of keys or I handed the driver a bunch of keys. Okay, what else is left? I want to buy a bouquet of flowers for my friend who is celebrating her birthday today. Can we order another bowl of rice? If you are at a restaurant, can we order another bowl of rice? A fleet of ships. As I entered the harbour, I watched a fleet of ships anchored by the riverside. The travel company has a good fleet of cars. A good fleet of cars. We're not saying a group of cars, we're saying a fleet of cars. The villagers collect a stack of wood for fire just before the monsoons. Okay, we are done with all the galaxy of stars. I just sit down in the evenings and I watch the galaxy of stars. Okay, so we are done with all. So this is how you will implement all of this collective nouns into your day-to-day -day English.